In one of the previous videos where we used Universe Sandbox 2, I've talked about Dark Matter and I've also talked about how Dark Matter keeps um, galaxies together, how it keeps them from flying apart. And one of you wonderful people by the name of, I believe your name is Regard Deer, I hope I pronounced this correctly, uh, messaged me with a really, really cool um, picture, which I'm going to talk about today and actually kind of speculate about something that maybe scientists have not really tried to um, analyze yet. Welcome to What The Math, today we're going to talk about dark matter and galaxies. <laughs> So first, let me start by showing you the, the picture. So right here, you're looking at various types of so-called ring galaxies. Now, these are essentially galaxies that seem to have a ring around them. Uh, these are very, very massive usually, and um, the current speculation is that a lot of these galaxies have uh, very young blue and white stars forming on the outskirts and making this kind of a beautiful ring. And essentially, this is what creates this kind of an effect, and nothing seems to be happening in the center, either because there's a lot of really old dark stars, or because um, everything for some reason moved to the outskirts. Now, the, uh, the actual most prominent theory right now is that the ring galaxies are essentially formed in a way that, um, well, basically, in this way. Let me just show you instead of trying to uh, talk about it. Basically, you have two galaxies that collide, and one of them is smaller than the other. When a smaller galaxy passes through the bigger galaxy, in the center you'll get like an empty space, on the outskirts you get a bunch of stars. That's the current most prevalent theory explaining these, um, these particular beautiful ring galaxies. Uh, but some other astronomers think that maybe it's just formed because there's a very large accretion disk on the outskirts uh, of these really massive galaxies that um, essentially starts producing these new stars that then obviously create so much light and such a beautiful ring. Uh, so two theories, one is that it's a collision of two galaxies, one small, one big, and two is that maybe it's because of this accretion disk that is there for some reason. And uh, this is actually um, the galaxy that uh, this person sent me. Um, this is the Cartwheel Galaxy, a very beautiful, very well-known galaxy that has this really cool look. It actually does kind of look like a cartwheel and it's, apparently it's a lot more massive than we thought. What you see here is actually, it's not showing you the um, the dark side of this galaxy. It doesn't show you the darker stars and specifically the black holes um, binary systems. Basically, there's a lot of binary black hole systems that surround this galaxy. And uh, we can see them in the X-ray. And they actually show up on this particular picture because um, this is the X-ray imaging. And you can kind of see that there's quite a lot of these really massive, beautiful objects. Now, why are we talking about this? Well, because in one of the previous videos, when I was talking about dark matter, this is what we've talked about. We've taken a look at um, the galaxies, if they actually had dark matter in them. Specifically, this is a pretty good example. So here is a typical galaxy. Um, actually, maybe not this particular simulation. Let's actually use this right here. This is a little bit better because it's already accelerated as well. I'm going to pause it for a second. We're going to zoom out. And so here we have these two galaxies that are kind of spinning around each other. We're going to maybe decrease this a little bit. And they're held together by the red dots, which are sort of the representations of um, dark matter. This is essentially the theory behind dark matter right now is that this is how the galaxies are kept together. But then what I did was I went into, into power here and pressed the magical button that removes the dark matter. And see what happens? They actually turn into ring galaxies. Are you kind of detecting where I'm going with this? Let me try this again. I'm going to go into this, zoom in on this lonely galaxy right here in the middle. It kind of looks galactic enough. And we're going to basically, well, first of all, let's accelerate this. And we're going to remove the dark matter. And you'll notice that it actually will once again turn into a ring galaxy, which is absolutely fascinating. Now, the fact that he saw this before I think a lot of scientists did is pretty amazing. I don't know if this is actually what's happening. This is totally a speculation on my part. I've never read a paper, a single paper that tried to explain it this way. 
so maybe right about now I can maybe pause this or decelerate this a little bit. And so what we have here is we have the central part that sort of does obviously have a lot of stars um, orbiting the central supermassive black hole. You can kind of see them if I zoom in a little bit more. And this is because they actually, uh, they're not moving fast enough uh, to escape this part. But then these stars are moving fast enough. And before they were being held by, um, by the dark matter. And now there's no, no, more, no more dark matter, and so it actually kind of, sort of, from a certain angle, if you squint your eyes, totally looks like a ring galaxy, or possibly a cartwheel galaxy. Like, this is totally a cartwheel. If this is not a cartwheel, I don't know what a cartwheel is. But anyway, so I, th I thought it was, that was an absolutely amazing observation on his part, and I actually wanted to ask you guys, what do you guys think? Does this actually make sense? I'm totally going to tweet this to some of the um, more famous uh, astronomers out there that actually do know a little bit more about dark matter than me uh, and maybe they will have an answer for us because I honestly think that this person is kind of on the right track maybe just maybe this is actually how uh, these unusual galaxies are formed maybe it has something to do with dark matter either somehow disappearing or somehow losing its potency or possibly maybe it something else is going on there maybe there's just um, some kind of effect we haven't really um, observed yet or haven't really um, studied yet but anyway so that's all i wanted to speculate in this video about um, let me know what you think in the comments below and if you have a pretty good explanation to why these galaxies seem to resemble these galaxies right here which are also known as the ring galaxies please leave it in the com comments below so we can maybe talk about this in one of the future videos. And once again, thank you so much, Regard, for sending me that photo on uh, on Facebook. And you can always uh, reach me on Facebook if you actually have something cool to say or if you have something to share so I can maybe talk about this in a future video. Uh, it's probably the fastest way to reach me, except, of course, for Twitter. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you still haven't. Share this video with someone who you think may actually enjoy uh, learning stuff using video games. And uh, don't forget to like this video if you actually enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Game you later. And as always, bye-bye. And this is what happens if you place Andromeda Galaxy just by itself. It starts acting really, really funny. And let's actually see what happens if we remove the dark matter from that as well. And it just kind of disappears. Everything flies away from the central black hole. Huh. Well, that's interesting. <laughs>